This week on the Sequoia Scribe Newscast, we look into student fights at Severe Middle. We learn more about an Indian culture event that recently took place in Kingsport. And in our sports segment, we speak to this year's track team about their expe expectations for the season. All this and more is coming up on SSN. Good morning, Severe Middle. My name is Elizabeth. And I'm Alex. Welcome to this week's episode of SSN. In recent weeks, students have been in more fights at Severe Middle. On most days, students can be overheard talking about plans to fight somebody. Kristen and Maddie have the story. I don't think it's a problem. I think it's a way for a child to get out of its anger, their anger. Severe seventh grader Stephanie believes that fist fights are a good idea, but other people see it differently. Fights are stupid, and I don't want to go to ISS. Well, it's an immature way of solving a problem, and it really doesn't solve a problem. It shows who might be the strongest, but that's not necessarily who's right. So it kind of seems silly to fight about something. I don't think it's a good thing to do. I think people should take up for themselves, but not to the point where they're going to hurt somebody else. While some people think that fighting should be avoided, many others agree with Stephanie. Just let kids fight because I don't think it's really that bad. Why do people fight? According to adults, there's a simple explanation. Students, sometimes they do it because they think they have to show their other friends that's the only way they know how to handle the problem. Um, it's obviously not the best way to handle it, especially at school. There's other ways to handle this. But a lot of times, the, the issue at hand is not even a big problem. It's just they're doing it because their friends want them to. I think that they don't know how to exhibit self-control, and they get mad or frustrated and immediately go into a physical aggression towards another person and don't know quite yet how to maybe turn the inappropriate behavior into appropriate behavior and know how to um, calm their emotions or use their words to get their emotions out. Talk among severe students is that fighting is getting worse. Well, I think lately I, we have been having a lot of fights for some reason. I, it seems like I hear about a lot of fights and I'm not sure I understand what, why that is. But I hear from students that it's a problem, especially in a time of transition, I think morning and at lunch times. So I've heard from students that it is, but I haven't actually seen it myself. This is Kristen and Maddie reporting for SSN. The John Sevier 8th grade Warrior Band received a superior ranking at the concert festival in Greenville before spring break. Sierra entered at grade three alongside many high schools and achieved straight superior rankings. KCS will be getting new websites next school year. The system is changing hosts from School Fusion to Ed Leo. Teacher content won't be present on those websites anymore. Students will be able to access class information on Advanced 360. The Sequoia Scribe Student Newspaper is currently taking applications for the 2015-2016 school year. All interested students can pick up an application in room 340. The Scribe is looking for new editors, writers, cartoonists, and photographers, as well as members of an all-new web-only staff. All applications are due on Monday, April 20th, so there's only one week left to apply. An Indian New Year celebration recently took place at the Tri-Cities Worship Center. Gowrie has the scoop. Recently, at the Tri-Cities Temple, a festival called Ugadi was celebrated. Well, it's a time where you get to have a fresh start. I just like getting together with all my friends and having a good time and celebrating the new year. It's fun because I get to play games. I like getting together with my family and friends and praying to God. I like the religious festival and I like getting with my family and friends. The Ugadi is a New Year celebration in India, like it's the beginning of the year in the Hindu calendar. Ugadi is the celebration of New Year. Like Yugadi is uh, uh, usually Telugu New Year's Day. It's a festival that is celebrated by in India and mainly celebrated by Hindus. And it is celebrated in the southern part of India and coming from different states like Andhra, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Karnataka and other states which are part of southern India is the South Indian New Year. Our calendar is based on a different than the U.S. calendar and that's the New Year days on Ugadi. Many adults previously lived in India 
and explained how they celebrated the event there. Oh, there is a lot of uh, difference because it's a big festival in India, like a big celebration. A lot of kids, they will get a new clothes on that day. And uh, like at the schools and colleges and every the government holiday on that day. And uh, people like to eat the bitter, the neem and the jaggery mix that is a bitter and the sweet. So the life is made up of full of uh, uh, bitterness and happiness. It was mainly just getting up, praying to God early in the morning. I mean the common thing what you do in India and over here is eating the dish that has six different tastes. That's the symbol and doing the puja in India and doing the puja over here but kind of different. Parvati Anantala, a U.S. born citizen, celebrated Ugadi a little different in America. So I was actually born in the United States and so my family we were celebrating Ugadi here in the United States and we, at that time we actually used to just do it in our home because we didn't have a large temple in the city that we were living in and we would just you know eat special the special pachiti which is like a mixture of all the different flavors that you're supposed to eat to say that you're going to experience everything in life you know sweet sour hot spicy that type of thing reporting for SSN this has been Gowrie this past week saw lots of rain and warm temperatures what will the weather be like this week Gabriel is standing by with the weather report. This week, the weather can be summed up with one word, rain. Good morning, I'm Joshua. This week, temperatures will drop a bit and rain will stick with the Tri-Cities all week long. On Monday, there will be a 50% chance of showers, with thunderstorms also possible after 5 p.m. It will be partly sunny with a high near 74 degrees. Overnight, temperatures will drop to 57 degrees and the chance of rain will go up to 90%. Those Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, temperatures will drop into the mid-60s and rain will continue. By Friday, the temperature will rise again to 74 degrees, but there will still be a 40% chance of rain on Friday. Now let's go back to the newscast studio. The JSMS track season is officially underway. Allison is standing by in the Severe Sports Center. The baseball and softball season has kicked off at Severe, and both teams are struggling this season. Good morning, Warriors. I'm Allison. Before spring break, the Lady Warriors softball teams faced off against Churchill, T.A. Duggar, and Robinson Middle School. The teams were unable to overcome either of their opponents, but had a strong showing against city rival Robinson Middle School. The varsity baseball team faced off against Unicorn before the break and was not able to win the match. The junior varsity team, on the other hand, beat Vance Middle School. Another sport that is underway at Severe right now is track. Elise and Josh Reel spoke to the track team about their hopes for the season. The track and field season has started at Severe. Some of the athletes and coaches have different hopes for the season. My hopes for the season will be for us to achieve great rewards and for us to get better throughout the season. Um, some of my hopes for the season is to just um, have fun and really get something out of it. Um, I really just want to get in more shape because it's good for your body. My hopes for the season would be that we have a great year or two months or something like that and that everybody does good in what they do. My hopes for track season this year that we that we continue to practice and get better, come out with a strong team, you know, compete in every meet, win or not, we want to be there right there to the end. There are different categories to run in. The 100 meter because it's like easier and you can pace yourself and it's like the easiest one, so yeah. The 100 yard run because, I mean, it's the easiest and it's not that far to run. I like to run the 1600 and the 800 because it's really fun and um, I'm really good at long distance. Some students of Severe wonder what it takes to be in track. Um, it takes a lot of practice, okay? It, talks, it takes a lot of determination and will. Anybody can be a good runner, it's just they have to have both of those that I just explained, okay? You come out and you work hard, it pays off in the end. You have to be in shape and be a good runner and stuff like that. 
All right, what it takes is hard work and dedication, and you don't have to be a fast runner, and you don't have to have natural skill. All you have to do is hard work and never give up and just dedicated to the sport. Each student on the track team has their favorite place to go for competitions. My favorite place to go have a competition would be at DB because that's going to be my school soon, and I just love DB. My favorite competition would have to be like whenever we go to like Elizabethan or any place like that. Reporting for SSN, this has been Elise and Joshua. Well, that's it for this week's Severe Sports Report. Let's go back to the newscast studio. How do the students of Severe feel about fighting in school? Joshua and Santa hit the halls to find out. Johnson Middle School students fight every week. How do Severe students feel about this? SSN hit the halls to find out your opinion. Oh well, I do think fighting is a problem at Severe. That it, I think it could be better and that um, we shouldn't do this at Severe. And I have uh, almost been in a fight and I got in trouble for it. But I think it's a problem and that we should fix it. Fighting is a problem, it's severe. I almost got in a fight and somebody did sort of get in trouble, but I think that people need to control it better because it's not handled very well all the time. I think it is a problem because um, I've talked to people at Robinson and they say they never have fights and we have like one at least every week. Fighting is bad for severe because it really disrupts the behavior of the school where everyone thinks they can do what they want and not get in trouble. So I think the faculty should really start cracking down on all these kids getting into fights, giving them uh, worse comp consequences. No, well sometimes yes. I should say yes, fighting is a problem, but it's just uh, not the nicest way to express your feelings. But still, kids do it. I think fighting is a problem that's severe. Because it shows like how disrespectful we are towards each other and towards the school. If you want to tell us your opinion on fights and severe, tweet us at hashtag SSN hits the halls, and your comment could end up on the air. Let's go back to the newscast studio. That's it for today's installment of the Sequoia Scribe newscast. Next week, Sandler and Maddie take a look at the recent career expo. Kristen investigates a new program in Severe's cafeteria. And EY and Gallery investigate if boys can try out for cheer and dance. Only 27 school days are left until summer break. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Alex. Have a great week, Supermiddle.